Well, you just heard of some fun new places to go on Bainbridge after dark, but there is one island tradition that has always been a good time, the St. Cecilia's Fashion Show. It's the seventh year of the event, and it's coming up soon on May 1st. Joining me now to tell us more about the event are the co-directors of the fashion show, Don Weber and Charlie Schmidt. Welcome, ladies. Thanks Hi. for joining me. <laughs> Thank you. So, Don, first, tell me, I heard somewhere that this event is the party of the year. <laughs> tell me why this event's so fun. Well, it's a fun event for many reasons. Um, one of the reasons is that it's all local models, um, local stores, and so the people there are really supporting each other. It's um, people come to see their friends, people come to see the local fashions on the island, so it's a, it's a lot of camaraderie, but it's also a whole evening long event. So we have the cocktail hour beforehand, this year we're having a band that starts at 6.30. Mm -hmm. And then the fashion show itself goes for about an hour from 8 to 9. And then we have a DJ until as late as they'll let us go, which is usually around 1 or 2. Ooh. Until, um, and dancing on the runway. Anyone can dance on the runway at that point. So cool. that it's just like a fun. whole evening event. Neat. So, Charlie, tell me a little bit. You, um, you've been with it since, since its conception for yeah. seven years. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's been so successful? Well, you know, honestly, I think it's been so successful for all the reasons that Don said, particularly the community aspect of it. Every year we choose between 60 and 70 of Bainbridge's best and put them on the runway. <laughs> and, you know, with that, a crowd like that and changing the models every year, you know, you know, eventually everybody gets a chance to be on the runway and you see your friends and, and um, it's that opportunity to pull the whole community together that I think is fun and also stay out past 10 o'clock right <laughs> that's yeah. always fun yeah, no. so what, what community members are on the runway well you have everybody I mean we get um, local grocery store clerks and the librarians and fitness instructors and builders around town teachers, teachers. Um, gosh you name it and, and this year the Bainbridge Island Library's children's librarian is modeling for us oh, so that's great yeah, faces if you come to the fashion show you'll definitely recognize faces of people that you see around the island all the right. time cool yeah. Okay, so um, there are shops gonna, that are going to be there from the island. Are they all Bainbridge Island shops, or yeah, they are actually? Yes. They're all Bainbridge boutiques, and they're they're so varied. Do you yes. want to talk about that? They're <laughs> a wide range. Um, we have stores from Bay Hay and Feed, and the Traveler is new this year. You don't think of the Traveler as having clothes, but they do have travel clothes, yeah. obviously. And stores that have been with us for a long time, like Adam and Eve, right? Adam right. and Eve and Sweet Deal. Kennedy and Kate. Kennedy and Kate have been around a long Zia. time. Yeah, yeah. So every year we try to, if there's a new store on the island, we try to give them an invitation to join and um, show their wares so that people can see new stores that have come. For example, last year, Que Sera was a little store that's in Rolling Bay, and I don't think at any press that no one really heard of it. And so they were in the short, uh, store last year, in the show last year, and now they're having men modeling, and oh, cool. they've had twice as many yeah. models they've as last year. Their line. Yes, mm -hmm. Good. So we're very excited about That's that. That's great. So can can you shop there when you go? Can you shop at the event? Um, well, there's auction shopping. Okay. You're not actually fashion <laughs> shopping, but you know you can see we've got programs that will tell you you know who's wearing what and from where, and um, and then at the event itself, there's generally an auction. You know, kind of boost the fundraising a bit. And um, this year, the focus is going to be on adventures and services okay. in the name of green and and things like that. So neat. Yeah. So what's the theme? I know every year there's a theme. What was the theme this year? What inspired it? as well. Well, it actually started with, um, uh, we've sort of been going around the world a little bit <laughs> in the last few <laughs> years. Yeah. And so this year they kind of thought, you know, based on, you know, thinking of some of the restaurants around town, they want, thought Mexican. Um, but that evolved. A new parent at the school who's actually the lead singer in the band that will be opening. Um, de, 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 de. The Seo Carmine. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and um, They're really great. And she's from Paraguay. And she said, why not open it up and make Fun. it just Latin in general? And so we went with that and and so the name you know kind of got a little more sophisticated with that as well went from fashion fiesta to mocho uh, de noda and um so we're really excited about it and and that's yeah every year we just kind of like look at the map i think <laughs> <laughs> you know, last year was paris this yeah. year is latin america Neat. So Moshe de Noda is a uh, fundraiser as well for St. Cecilia's. It is. Um, tell me, I know your kids go to the school or one of your children goes. Uh -huh, I've had both of my kids there. I have one there right now. Okay. So how does it how does it support the kids and the school? The so money? essentially um, this helps to fill in the, the gaps of just running a school. Um, they try to keep tuitions low. They offer a lot of scholarships. They don't want to say no to anybody who wants to be there. So um, as a result, they have to make up, you know, fill in the gaps. Um, to pay the teachers and the overhead and, and things like that. 
So, okay, yeah. great. Um, and also, I am going to be modeling yes. in the event. I went yesterday <laughs> to Adam and Eve to try excited. on my pretty dress. I'm a little nervous, though. Do you guys have any tips? I know both of you are formal models <laughs> and still modeling. Do you have any tips for me, either of you? Um, to relax, relax and to remember yeah. that the audience is your friend. They're very excited to be there. They're a great audience every year. So just to keep that in mind, that helps to keep the nerves down. And I would just say um, being natural, walking naturally, be yourself. and Yeah, yeah. have fun. Yeah, because have fun. it shows, it resonates on the stage. Yeah. And, and, and everybody is very interactive with the audience and, and stuff. There's a lot of hoot and holler. All right, yeah. so I'll just go <laughs> with so it. Away. Just go, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Again, the show is at St. Cecilia's Church on Saturday, May 1st at 6.15 p.m. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining me. It was Thank a lot you. of fun, and I'll see you at the show. Yes. Yeah. And now, for more about where to go and who to see, here's Caitlin Murphy with this week's What's Happening.